Hello. So I was thinking the other day that I'm probably showing too much of my face on YouTube. Most guys who are successful YouTubers all show very little of their face. They've all got the same haircut that sort of just like goes like this, you know, so you can't see even sometimes it's they have like an eye covered. It seems like they all have very similar haircuts. This haircut. I'm not sure what it's called, but I guess it's all the rage. But I've already gone through my long hair phase. I had uh, braids at one point, I even had dreadlocks. Yeah. But that was a different time. I think if anybody wore now the clothes that I was wearing back then, they would probably be wildly unpopular. Or the most popular. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that's like. But fashion is funny that way. In 20 years, all the hipsters will probably be wearing vintage Ed Hardy t-shirts and uh, getting ironic spray tans. Shifting gears slightly, I want to talk about tattoos. I don't have any tattoos, um, but that doesn't mean that I don't have a few in mind that I'd like to get. And, and now C. Nanners is getting a tattoo, so, you know, I'm just saying. I think I might try to find out where and when he's getting his tattoo and then show up at the exact same time and get the exact same tattoo. You know, we could talk about video games and... Tell them all about the stabbist and the murderist classes. I'm sure we'd hit it off. Uh, me and c -Nan. But really, uh, about tattoos. You have to consider that you are changing your body permanently. Let's put it this way, I have a mustache and I enjoy having a mustache, but I know that someday I might not want to have a mustache, so I would never opt to have a permanent mustache. People will say, oh, that's different. Uh, I'm not talking about getting a tattoo on my face. Well, anyways, uh, it brings me to neck tattoos, and uh, neck tattoos are awesome. When choosing an awesome neck tattoo, there's a few things that you need to consider. One, color and design. Are you gonna get a dark one? Are you gonna get a light one? What's it gonna be? Are you gonna get, like, uh, something cool? I mean, hopefully you get something cool. I mean, it's already pretty cool, so, I mean, it's... Two, placement. Are you gonna get it on the side of your neck, in the middle of your neck? Is it gonna go come up really high? Um, depending on what it is, it might be uh, pretty awesome to have it like, uh, you know, all the way up here. You don't want to look like you got hit with a sticker on Little Big Planet. You've got to think about where you're going to put it. Third, and finally, do you have enough money to never have to work again? Because you really shouldn't get a neck tattoo unless you have godlike job security or more than exactly enough money to live comfortably for the rest of your life. Basically, the reason neck tattoos are awesome because they say, I'm rich. Sadly, it's so rarely the case. Um, I realize I may have offended people with, uh, eh, eh, eh. So get tattoos. Just get the right tattoo and get it for the right reasons. Think of it this way. You may be right-handed, but would you have your left hand surgically changed into another right hand? Think about it. I will have a tattoo before I die. I'm probably gonna get post-mortem sleeves, actually. That would be pretty cool. 